Hello, my name is Christopher Caliendo, and welcome to my video series called Music Recipes. Now, Music Recipes helps list and explain the world music ingredients that, when added together, help shape the end result of my world music compositions. The idea of this video series, Music Recipes, actually came from you. So many of my sheet music customers often ask me, well, what does world music actually mean, and where do you get your ideas from, and how do you put them all together, all these influences compositionally? Well, today we're going to focus on uh, an original composition of mine from the Gypsy Americano catalog called Hospodar. Now, in order to do that, we have to go back in time and find out exactly what does Hospodar mean. Hospodar is a term of Slavonic origin that means lord or master. These 18th century wealthy Moldavia or Wallachia landowners often had gypsies as slaves to labor their land. So the cultures that identify with the meaning of Hospodar are Slovaks and Hungarian gypsies. These are the first two musical ingredients for our compositional recipe. When I say Slovakian music, I mean those traces of influence in the 18th century onwards that developed uh, the Slovaks' national musical traditions, specifically the music of the Roma traditionally hired to perform for weddings and celebrations. When I say gypsy music, I mean a melody which is built around the Hungarian gypsy scale or Aeolian scale with a raised fourth or sharp fourth degree. This example, of course, is in the C minor scale, and you can see here the raised F sharp. Now, in addition, I also decided to add a third ingredient, and that is the spaghetti westerns or Italian western music. This is a style that emerged in the 1960s in the wake of Sergio Leone's filmmaking style. In most spaghetti westerns, social relations are non-existent. The hero enters town that is ruled by two outlaw gangs, a corresponding notion with the hospodar and his relationship with his gypsy slaves. Now, the Italian composer Ennio Morricone enjoyed global fame with his famous five-note fourth interval motif, first heard in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, with American actor Clint Eastwood. Now, I could not resist adding this motif to the end of my melody. Let's see if you can identify it later on. So altogether, these three ingredients, the Hungarian gypsy music, the Slovakian music, the spaghetti western music, all help create a new vocabulary that tells the story of Hospodar. So let's see, from a composer's point of view, how this amalgam of influence is achieved. First, let's start with the gypsy melody, which also combines with the spaghetti western motif. And this is performed by Dr. John Barcelona on the piccolo. Next, let's feature the Slovakian and cowboy supporting harmony and rhythm played by myself on the acoustic guitar. Next, let's feature the Slovakian bass part performed by the cellist Armin Kisikian. <laughs> Now, let's find out how all of these ingredients are combined by a live performance of Hospodar played by the Caliendo Trio. Okay. 
let's take it there. For those of you who are interested in, in the Shibu Sutta Hospodar in a variety of arrangements, simply click here. And for those of you who are interested in our videos regularly, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. 
Now, those of you watching who are classical musicians and who see world music in our publications as a means to expand and open up your envelope, your performance envelope, please share this on your own social media platforms and invigorate other people to watch. And thank you for listening to the World Music Recipe video presentation and to the Calliando Trio performing Hospodar.